the rehabilitation of the natural untreated water pipeline between the Koschutz Waterworks plant and the Kosmansdorf Intermediate Pressure Station was performed in 13 sections by Dreivagnetz AG. The 400 meter long rehabilitation section between Windbergstrasse and the Karlsruher Strasse Kohlenstrasse Junction was carried out with a pressure hose. To implement the project, the company Pfaffinger designed and constructed a total of six access pits for equipment positioning and liner insertion. The contractor secured the access pits with steel plates. This way the traffic could be maintained through the entire construction period. This was a requirement by the traffic authority. A company specializing in concrete core cutting opened the 70 year old concrete pipe with cross cuts. The cutout sections within the 1200 mm concrete pipe were closed later on with specially developed liner couplings and the intermediate sections were reconnected with steel pipes. In total, the project involved rehabilitating five individual sections varying in lengths of 60 to 105 meters. After the high pressure cleaning and optical calibration of the host pipe, the high performance pressure liner was set to be pulled in place. A cable winch pulled the liner into the host pipe. The host pipe only serves to guide and shape the liner, compensating the inflation forces. This type of high performance liner is a structural self-supporting liner, being able to withstand internal and external loads. A glide foil was installed prior to the insertion of the liner, minimizing friction and reducing the pull-in force. The Sartex liner H2O represents the latest generation of high performance pressure hose liners. The applied material consists of highly corrosion resistant ECR glass and a special styrene free vinyl ester resin. After curing, the resin impregnated glass fiber laminate provides a superior high strength at minimal wall thicknesses. For each section, the high performance liner was supplied by the manufacturer delivered in a refrigerated truck to assure a consistent resin temperature, resulting in a high quality finished product. Liner 3 was 92 meters long and specially produced to the measured host pipe inner diameter of 1146 millimeters and a wall thickness of 10.3 millimeters. The trenchless rehabilitation of the water pipe saved the local residents a great deal of noise, dust and traffic disruption as well as CO2 emissions. Liner 4 with a length of 87 meters connected the rehabilitation section and the existing pipe in flow direction to the Koschutz water treatment plant. In the next step, the air pressure for the liner was increased until it reached the specified inflation pressure until the liner was fully adapted to the host pipe. The experts then sealed off the liner with so-called packers. The light train consisting of three units of lights, each with four UV lamps, the so-called triple core, was inserted into the liner via an airlock, air sluice. In the initial phase, to build up the liner, the air pressure in the air lock air sluice was only at max 50 millibar. After the light chain was inserted in the liner and in place, the air lock air sluice had been removed, the pressure was gradually increased until the specified working pressure was reached. The triple core, which comes standard with a camera, was then pulled through the uncured liner to the opposite end of the rehabilitation section. This way, the liner is visually checked for any damage before the curing process is initiated. In the final step, the liner was cured by UV light. The UV light train was pulled through the inflated pressure liner at a speed of 30 centimeters per minute, triggering an exothermic reaction. This reaction completely cured the resin, turning the flexible hose liner into a new pipe. The special produced pipe elements from the company Trap Infa then had to be installed in between the liner sections in order to permanently reconnect the network in accordance with the local requirements. The pipe elements were EKB powder coated that is approved for potable water application and provides a long service life. 
After the work had been completed, the construction site had to be restored to its original condition. Refilling the construction pits, the contractor applied a new layer of asphalt to the road, leaving hardly any sign of this complicated construction project to be visible. With the rehabilitation of the Dresden Kosmansdorf water pipe, the company Pfaffinger and its participating partners proved to be a professional and reliable solution provider, completing this demanding project from September through December 2017 at top quality. <laughs>